this one's just a little less expensive, but you may like this one right here. But if you'd like one with color, this one is just beautiful. Excuse me, Mrs. Fry, I'll be right back. Get out of my store. Now that's no way to talk to a lawman. Lawman? You're no lawman. And I'm not giving you one red cent, so you may as well leave now. Legrone ain't gonna like this. And what's worse, something bad can happen to your store if you don't pay your taxes. Taxes? You call them taxes? Legrone doesn't put any tax money into this town. We have no school, bad roads, and no law. I'm the law in Dry Gulch County, and you're disobeying the law. You've got until Friday to pay your taxes, or else. Don't threaten me, Welch. I'll pray you right out of this town. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> God in heaven, I pray that you send an honest, righteous lawman to this town in the name of Jesus. Amen. Here's the money. Ten dollars less than last week. You still don't have the guts to lean on that lady storekeeper, do you? I got tough with her. I gave her until Friday, or else. Legron ain't gonna like this. Well, what am I supposed to do? You could do what I did to that shopkeeper that wouldn't pay up. I'm not sure. I can do that. Then Legrone is going to find somebody else to do your job. You better get tough, Welch, or you're gone. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mueller. Mueller, what's wrong? Oh, it's that sheriff again. He took five dollars out of my money box this morning. I can hardly afford to pay my bills because of him. Miss Lana, I've got to talk to you. I'm about to lose my barber shop. The sheriff? Sheriff? He's no sheriff. He's a hired thug. He's not collecting taxes either. He's taking protection money from every business in this town. Well, don't pay it. I don't. And that's what got me in trouble. Well, I can't buy shaving soap or tonic water. Well, every time I place an order, something happens to it. I can't run my business without the stuff. Sheriff Welch is behind it. No, it's not Welch. He's just a puppet. The real problem is in Silver City. Oscar, Oscar Legron? Legron controls everything out of Silver City. Well, he's controlling every town in this part of the territory. Well, I guess I'll just have to move. Me too. I'm not about to move. We're going to get on our knees and we're going to pray and ask God to send us an honest lawman to take care of Oscar Legron. <laughs> Please, all I want to drink. <laughs> Please, Mr. Legrone. Just one drink, that, that's all I'm asking. Just one. Sure. Just shine these boots first. Oh, yes, sir. Anything you ask. <laughs>
How's that, Mr. Legrone? Not bad. Here. Here's your drink. Slime. What did you call me? I said that you're slime. You're too bit drunk. Why would I kill you right here and now? Don't waste your bullet, Legrone. I'll take care of him. Right, he ain't worth a bullet. We got in trouble. Thought you took care of that when you took care of that shopkeeper. Apparently some of those people didn't get the message. Just tell Welch lean on him a little harder. Welch is the problem. He doesn't have the stomach for the job. Stomach? <laughs> He's got the stomach all right. Let's get another man. Jack Slade. Slade? You never heard of him. Slade? Well, I know. You know him? Uh, no, I reckon I don't. I'm looking for a man named Jack Slade. And I've been told that he hangs out here. Anybody know him? Who wants to know? Bill Gunner, U.S. Marshal. Slade ain't here, so you can just leave. Now. He's a line of bad. That's Jack Slade right there. Who are you? All right, guns on the floor, hands in the air. Now get that shotgun and get Slade out of here. Good. All right, now anybody that follows me out these doors be interfering with an officer of the law. Now I treat it as such. Get out there. You're gonna pay for this. Well, maybe so, but I'm tired of you pushing me around. Come on, boys, get on the horses. We're going to dry go. Uh, I can't. I, I ain't got no horse. Buy one. Come on, get on the horse. This is for your horse. You're worth ten times that much. Well, just put it on my bill. Not for long. Welch, wake up. What's going on? I'm Bill Gunner, U.S. Marshal. Now open up that cell block. I got a prisoner. Hey. Get inside. But I'm the sheriff. Not anymore. I got orders from a federal judge. You're crooked and you're finished. Hey, who's that guy? I don't know. We better find out. Hey, you! 
I got him, Marshal. I got him. What's Let going me go. on here? This is a man who's looking in the winter. This is what's your name? Well, I ain't telling unless you let me go. Okay, go ahead. Let him go. But he's dangerous. Let him go so he can tell us his name. Okay. Oh, oh. told you he's dangerous. Miss Lana! Hide me, hide me. The law's coming to get me. Sheriff Welch? No, the new sheriff. He's even meaner than Welch. He just locked up Welch and Jack Slade in jail. Elmer, if he did that, he's not an outlaw. Calm down. Here he comes now. Man, we're looking for a big man just came in here. Elmer, come on out. They know you're here. Why was you looking in that jail window? I know why. It's because you're a part of Legron's crooked operation. I bet this whole town's crooked, just like Silver City. No, I'm not a crook. Uh, I'm a law-abiding citizen. He's right, mister. We're honest people. We know that Legron controls our sheriff, but we don't pay protection money. Well, I happen to know a crook when I see one, and I've seen plenty of them to know. You're a crook. He's a crook. This whole entire town's crooked. No, these people are honest. Ma'am, I'm real sorry. My name is Bill Gunner, and I'm a U.S. Marshal. Now, I've been sent by a federal judge to clean up this part of the territory. Oh, Lord, you've answered my prayers. Pardon me? We've been praying for God to send us an honest, righteous lawman. Well, Albert, go get Lefty. He's going to want to know this. My name's Lana Osborne, but most folks around here call me Miss Lana, and this man must be your deputy. Well, not exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm a U.S. Deputy Marshal Nicodemus is my name. Well, I'm happy to meet you. Uh, could I get you boys something cold to drink? Yes, ma'am. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, we'd like to have some lemonade. Uh, make mine a whiskey. <laughs> I don't serve whiskey. Uh, you know, on second thought, I think we'd better get back over the jail and check on our prisoners. Isn't that right, deputy? Did I say something wrong? Now, look, I never said anything about you being a deputy. But you're gonna need one. What with Legron being all stirred up like a nest of hornets? Besides, if it wasn't for me, that bartender would have plugged you sure. I realize that, and I'm grateful. But you can't be a deputy. I can ride, I can shoot, I can cover your backside when we get into a scrape. I know I can handle it. Mm, you'd never make it. You'd let me down. No, I know you wouldn't mean to. I never let you down. You can trust me. <sighs> Look, last night I did something I wanted to do for a long time. I stood up to Oscar Legron. He controls everybody in this territory, but not me. I won't be a slave any longer. It's not the groan I'm concerned about. Well, what is it then? It's that bottle. You're right. I'm a drunk. A low down, two bit drunk. Drinking's ruined everything good I've tried to do. Well, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No, you're right. You could count on me. Just when you needed me most, I'd give in to the bottle. You'd be in a shootout with some outlaw, and I'd be laid up drunk in some alley. I just can't quit. I know somebody who can help you. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, He can set you free from alcohol. Nicodemus, you are about to get saved. Legron, Welch and Slade are locked up in the Dry Gulch Jail. Not for long. I want 10 men to ride into Dry Gulch with me. We're gonna take out that U.S. Marshal. Yeah. 
I got the food you ordered and the clothes. Well, thank you. You can give the food to that new deputy there. Congratulations. Thank you. New job for a new man. No more booze for me. Excuse me while I feed the prisoners. Man, I... he accepted Jesus as his personal savior earlier this morning. What have we here? Well, it's your dinner. I'm talking about the star. Deputy U.S. Marshal. Hey, Welch, wake up. We got us a real Deputy U.S. Marshal here. He's not a deputy. He's a drunk. He's not a drunk. He's a dead man. You're right, Slade. I am a dead man. Last night, the old Nicodemus, the town drunk, the fool, the laughing stock of Silver City died. The old Nicodemus is dead, but now I'm a new man. And I've got power over the bottle, over Lagron, and over you. You're sure the new marshal is not a crook too? Lefty, he's a born again Christian just like us. Besides, He's got Sheriff Welch and Jack Slade locked up in jail. They'll probably get out. Lefty! Well, you know Oscar Legron's not gonna stand for this. That new marshal's gonna cause us all the trouble we can handle. This is what we prayed for. Well, I'm not so sure I didn't like it better the old way. Lefty, you're afraid. Of course I'm afraid. I know what Oscar Legron can do to this town. Well, you can hide from Legron for the rest of your life if you want to, but I'm standing up. Me too. Miss Lana, Elmer, I need your help. Sure, you can count on us. You can't count on Lefty. He's a chicken. I am not. Or two. I am not. Or two. I am not. Or two. You're afraid of Oscar Legron. Well, that's exactly what he wants. He controls people through fear. But we can stop him. Lana, you know the Bible. What does 2 Timothy 1, 7 say? For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that's the message we got to get across the people of this town. Now, I want you to tell every citizen you can find about a special meeting I'm having tonight in front of that jail. This protection money we've been paying Legron, it's going to stop. Set out for Dry Gulch in three hours. That'll put us in town at sunup. I'll give five hundred dollars for the man that plugs Bill Judson. <laughs> hey folks, I've been sent to stop the corruption in this part of the territory, and I intend to catch Oscar Legron and his crooked dealings. But in the end. You're the people who are going to run him out of this town. What can we do? The grown has got a nest full of trigger-happy no, gunmen up wait. there in Silver City. Listen to the marshal. We don't know anything about guns. No, wait. Let him talk. Listen. We're not going to fight with guns alone. Now, the only thing that'll stop Legron and drive him out of this town is character. Decent, honest character. Character won't stop guns. It's the only real weapon we have. Now, we can run Legron out of this town, but it'll take character to keep him and his kind out for good. Hey, hey, wait, wait. wait a minute. He's right. I'm tired of giving 10% of my hard-earned money for that bully. I'm standing with Marshall. Me too. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Lefty, what about you? All right, I'm with you. All right. You people are going to find out soon enough that I'm a scripture quoter. I do it because it works. Now, the book says God has not given us the spirit of fear. So the first thing we've got to do to beat Legron is to stop being afraid of him. Right. You know, we've been scared. That's good. That's good. That's fine. 
And then I need a half dozen good men who help me to work my plan. Well, you can count on me, Marshal. We're done for, Slade. You hear that crowd? We're not done yet. I'm still not sure our deputy believes what he says he is. You got any whiskey in there? Yeah. There's a bottle in the bottom right-hand drawer of the desk. Hey! Deputy! Deputy! What do you want? Well, uh, Welch and I were just wondering, uh, how long's it been since you had a drink? I ain't drinking no more. There's a, a bottle of whiskey in the bottom right-hand drawer of that desk. <sighs> well, we had a good meeting. These people are ready to get rid of Legron and his men once and for all. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just thinking about something. Well, I'm gonna go out here and set up a little welcome party for those outlaws. Hey, uh... Nicodemus, are you sure everything's all right? Yeah, I I'm okay. Go on. Lord, Nicodemus is being tempted to go back to that bottle. I'd like to stay with him every minute of the day till he gets that thing beat. Sooner or later, he's got to do it by himself. I pray that you'd give him strength of character to resist. I pray that his faith wouldn't fail him. In Jesus' name. Slade, this is what you can do with your bottle. Gotta be here somewhere. Keep looking. Spread out, boys, and remember, five hundred dollars to the man that plugs Gunter.
Hey. Have you seen the marshal? Yep. He's right in there. The other guys. I don't know. They sort of just disappeared. Party's over, Lagrone. You're outnumbered, Gunner. Just you and me now. I'm a lightning draw, Gunner. I'm giving you one last chance just to back away. You better think about this. I'm warning you. Go for your gun. Wait. Wait just a minute. Let's talk about this. Deputy, take him on to jail. My pleasure. Come on, Legron. Let's me and you go to jail. I drop me some boots that need shining. Come on, move it! See, fellas, aren't you glad we pray? We've got ourselves a Bible believing, pistol packing lawman, Bill Gunner. <laughs> You know, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 1, 7 that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All the people here in Dry Gulch were afraid of old Oscar Legron and his crooked lawmen. But you know, there was one person who wasn't filled with fear. Her name was Miss Lana. And she started praying and trusting God. And God sent someone, old Marshal Bill Gunner, and he came to town and cleaned out those outlaws and changed things. You know, the next time that you're afraid, don't give place to fear. Don't let it dominate you. But right then and there, find a promise in the Word of God that you can use to pray. And when you pray according to the Bible, when you find a promise that you can stand on and trust, your prayer will change things. God wants to help you just like He helps the people here in Dry Gulch. So remember, don't be afraid. You can change things with your prayers. Thank you.